Okay, this is my Bill Hook True Solo on Fort. It is just regular Cata, no Death Wish. Hopefully I am louder and more clear than I have been in my other commentaries. Hopefully I'm not overwhelming game volume. This is a very, very standard Bill Hook board. I'm um, Bill Hook. Build, sorry. So B uh, no BCR though on Bill Hook, but 20% uh, Skaven and 10% versus monsters to one shot pack masters when they're tagged and crossbow. I'm favoriting here because I heard there was a patrol up ahead and I wanted to just clear this so I would be able to hang around here and let the patrol just pass. This meant I, I could just come down after they passed and it was really efficient. Good for pace. A horde comes, which isn't great timing, but whatever. You get the headshot, which is nice. Unfortunately, the gas rat missed. I've got two assassins and a packmaster. I get the first assassin down fine. That's good. And I... It was an interesting play doing that. Just uh, sticking in that corner there. I probably should have just shot one of them. But this worked. Anyway. Fortunately, the billhook is enough clean to make it so that doing something like that wasn't too dangerous. Rattling up ahead, but I'm not going to worry about him. I'm just going to keep pushing. I use fervency here just to get rid of these maulers because they're, they're quite annoying for billhook. Um, in terms of just your old DPS. Any elite actually is. One thing I have noted is that your uh, ult DPS is so high that you actually kill waves almost too quickly. You can't really farm temp HP off them all the time. It's just not always ideal. I'm not headshotting particularly well here though, so not the best demonstration of that. This is just horde killing. I know there's a gutter running coming and I just shoot that um, Weapon wrap because uh, I know I can body shot it. I move over here because I know the assassin can come from here, and I also heard this warp fire thrower. And it also gives me a good line of sight since there's only really two directions specials can come from in front and that uh, climb up spot just there. You can also use this little uh, broken crate here to kind of navigate around all enemies. You see how the maulers, when they got closer, they kind of just stared at me, they didn't really attack, and nothing did anything for a bit. And I was just able to wrap around it. Fairly safe. I used the tree on the right side of me to mostly block the fire, or well, I guess that's the rocks actually, from the rattling. I miss my headshots here, and don't kill all of the maulers unfortunately, but it's fine. And I'm pretty easily able to outheal the weapon rat. I'm not caring about my ammunition at all, I don't need it, it doesn't matter. Pot's the best potion for Witch on a Captain. Speed Pot is good too. Uh, and strength Pot is fine as well, but having more fervency is better. It just means more insta kills. Move tech for Bill Hook is at, I think it's 10% or less attack speed, is the special, then two light attacks. Repeat. At more attack speed, so if you have Swift Slaying up, or just 20%, I think, you want to just do. The special attack first, and then just spam light check, um, light attacks infinitely. Excuse me. Missing these headshots, but again, it doesn't matter. Get like a crit there. This is one of my few runs where I actually have decent pace. Like a lot of the pole arms, the billhook has just fantastic stagger, base stagger strength on Kata. You don't really need to use the hook too often on Kata. You don't really ever need to either, and this thing crits way too often, either on a death wish to be honest mostly. It, it is helpful in some niche cases like when there's uh, helping your allies and uh, pack master and such. This is a good spot to just get some DPS in. Pretty easy. You think they get attacks in on you, but I don't know, slot system manipulation, essentially, I guess. And it's just that DPS, they just melt. 
that short thing cleave and just more of this. Pretty easy. It's a good way to kind of clear this area by hanging up here and pulling everything. I dropped too early there, there was no reason to, and I could have shot the Packmaster too. Ulting there wasn't great because it pushed it further and I just, I don't get lucky here, but I only had a second of ult left there. If I had timed that differently, I could have died, so not greatly played. I think it would have been better to just kill the other Packmaster instead of panicking, because I saw it at the last second, didn't realise, and that's why I ulted. I was too busy paying attention to the assassin on the left. But, worked out. More Horde. Just a Gas Rat and I believe a Rattling over there. Weapon Rats, uh, they don't have enough health. Sorry about that. Well, maybe not, hopefully the mute is working. Strength pot, but I want to keep the concentration potion, and there's no reason for me to bother using the strength pot. If it was a speed pot, I would just uh, push, but no other reason. It's good to know there's an explosive bomb there, I'm sure. I'll, I, I think I actually forget it's there though. I'm just pushing right now, there's a trigger up ahead. Get the headshot, nice. That was lucky. I get a Chaos Spawn and I just kill it in a very by the book manner. And by that I mean I just ledge it. I think you can do it with just one bomb or ult, but it's pretty hard to time that. I should have had the bomb out earlier there. Good to get one kill in with Fervency. It's not too much to talk about for this run, because Bilk's uh, quite well known at this point for how strong it is. Especially with Flens. The weapon itself isn't insane, it's fine. It's mainly the Flens synergy that pushes it too far. Flens pushes pretty much all of Salt's weapons too far, but... Oh, I guess except the one-handed axe. But the big difference is... It's just, it's got a really good cleave to speed ratio. You, it may not cleave armor, but that doesn't really matter too much. And Rapier, for example, doesn't actually have quite enough cleave, like you're hitting two Marauders. So it only, it absolutely destroys a Skaven Horde, probably faster than Bill Hawk, but you're not really worried about Skaven Hordes anyway. It doesn't matter. Oh, look, ammo. That was actually, uh, an unfavorable ammo spot because I don't think I saw any up until that point. I missed that shot because of the aim punch, or I probably just missed anyway. Healing here, there's two, so I'm just going to take the time to use one and take the other. I'm pushing right now because there's no reason, it's just a scaven horde, I'm just going to push over there and see what there is. If there's no elites, I'll drop. If there were elites, I would stay up and just fight the horde. And then maybe pull those elites up and then drop and then kill everything as was coming down. I'm just going to keep pushing until the hall catches up to me. This is good for pace. I just had a trigger, so I was betting that I wouldn't get another one. I could have, but I didn't. I already had two on the map at this point. The Chaos Patrol and the Chaos Bomb. Hulk and I can just body shot him. I'm just killing the horde now, then it caught up to me. Plague Monks are trivial with this weapon, even without the hook, because you do so much damage to them. It's ridiculous. Just look at them. And I'm going to the left here. No particular reason. I just feel quite often there's less here, unless there's a patrol. No, I don't go this way that often. I'm just trying to be quick and efficient here because I don't really want to fight in this place. I, mean, I want to get into the next spot. Where I have better line of sight on specials. Like most fort runs, a significant portion of the run is just the final event.
I'm, I'm still not a big fan of Fort's final. In True Solo specifically. I, on a team it's fine and everything, but in True Solo it's, uh, it can be a bit tedious. I think I handle it much better than I usually do in this run. And it's not so uh, ridiculously long. Of course, I've already done Deathwish runs with Billhook, so... But, I mean, that was on a different map, so whatever. This is a map I'm actually pretty bad at, despite it supposedly being easy. And I did just want to get a kind of by-the-book billhook run on the channel. It's not quite so, and I make a several mistakes, but... Yeah. Oh, and yeah, again, the stagger is really strong. The Witch and a Captain has no power or anything, and it just staggers. I'm not sure why the AI looks like it's poking out a little bit there. Now I'm just moving into the next area. I'm going to hold here for a bit. I had to change my graphic settings for this run, um, ambient lighting to low quality. Because, oh, and I'm pulling this lever here because it actually gives you bombs in the final. Uh, you'll see where that is soon enough, but, well, not soon, I suppose. The reason I changed my ambient light quality is because it's extremely dark in here sometimes for some reason. I just shot the um, Globideer because I knew that would just make it suicide, so... Hitting the Packmaster breakpoint is extremely useful because you can just do that. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> I mean, it's silly. I know there's an assassin. They don't always come in here. I shoot that and luckily I get a dodge in and it doesn't leech me. I missed. Oh, I'm not sure if I missed. Uh, I don't think yeah, I didn't miss. Unless that one leeches? I don't know, it doesn't matter. I'm not sure what's happened to the assassin. I'm gonna heal? No, I don't. Because I know I can just sustain my temp anyway. And I have enough green that even if it did run out, I wouldn't get one shot. He gets pushed off, I don't worry about him. I'm gonna get rid of this storm vermin and then I'm going to push. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna push. Gonna go up here. No reason to stay down there. This gets them to climb, puts me in a nice position to make even more progress. And gives me a good line of sight when specials come, but most importantly. I didn't tag that, because I'm being quite lazy with my tagging. Pretty lazy with the headshots too, but it's hard to justify when you do so much damage. It sounds bad, but um... Yeah, things just die. Like, they, they just die. The reason I was a little bit hesitant there wasn't quite using my move tech is because I was just seeing what was there, trying to get an idea. And it didn't look like too much, so I pushed. There was a speed pot there, I could have gotten it, but I didn't think there was time, and I didn't think it was too necessary. And it's good to have it there in case I need it. I don't, but I don't quite get this last storm vermin, which is annoying in fervency, but he dies quickly anyway. Arguably a way, so I possibly should have just uh, used fervency on the shields, but there was a few storm vermin, so no, actually, it was definitely good that I did. Definitely good. That, again, that rattling there was blocked, so I didn't worry about him. I moved over in that area, by the way, because he gave me a good line of sight of specials. Sorry, I'm just checking if it's muted. I'm a bit paranoid about it. Okay, ammo, I'm just gonna heal. I'm just going to fight a few waves here, I think about two for total. One Skaven, one Chaos. Everything just... I can't stress enough how this DPS is ridiculous. It's not the safest in the world. But I mean, it's not particularly dangerous either. And again, it's not the Bill Hook itself and yeah, I'm just going to go in now. I'm going to go around the perimeter and clear the elites that I find, or any ambience. I also know there's a horde coming and I don't want to just start the event anyway, so... The horde comes in pretty slowly. I'm just letting that storm vermin catch up to me. No reason to go to him. 
since I know there's nothing else over there for me. Just uh, using the move tech, because right now I'm at 20% attack speed. So I'm just using light spam. I jump over here, just trying to see what there is, pull ambience and such, get a good overview, not just drop in immediately. I actually do go into early, so I go straight for the bombs, and that's where they are. Normal, that door will be closed if you don't pull the leader. I get a little stuck here, and take some damage. It does cost me a heal later on. And, no, I don't think it does, actually. I probably should have held a little bit there. I could have stayed there a little bit, just done some DPS, but I wasn't sure. As you can see, I'm turning around looking, not feeling very confident, so I just let everything come to me. That's fine too. It just would have been more optimal if I had stayed closer to deal more DPS. This is good because I'm bringing myself further to the cannon. I'm closer. Just DPSing. I should be using heavy attacks in the Storm Vermin, but I'm not. It doesn't really matter. Bill Hook still does... I mean, it does quite good damage on Headshot with its light attacks. It's like Rapier, but um, slower, but more damage per hit. Lucky crit. I've kind of come to terms with how the crossbow is, and I don't think it's actually overpowered. I think it just needs the crit chance on its zoom removed. I just show my build here quite quickly because I'm worried about uh, my temp HP decay. But yeah, other than that, I think the crossbow would be fine. It has got quite high aim punch. And it does only have one dodge. I don't get the cannon all the way, sadly, and I don't really know how to do that weird cannon trick. And to be honest, I'm kind of glad I didn't. It'd be really lame if I did. I shouldn't say that, but... I mean, it doesn't really matter. As I said, I'm not a fan of the event, so I don't judge anyone for doing that. The good thing about Bill Hook in this case, though, is because you can just do so much damage, you don't really have to kite too far. I, I'm not careful there, and I, I'm there, and I end up taking a lot more damage than I need to. The reason I took attack speed over BCR, so it's just a crit chance and swift slaying and attack speed build, is I found I didn't actually need the BCR, I just don't really block anything that often. It has good stagger, and... It just didn't happen. On a tighter map, like maybe Hunger in the Dark, it probably would make sense, but... I just found the attack speed more useful, made them more mobile, and met my risk taking. Wasn't as risky. Again, this is... Look at just... <laughs> it makes them such a joke. And the reach is great. Taking more damage, I don't need to there. I lose my confidence, so I start kiting here. I just drop here because I know there's healing down if I go further. I'm just being really careful. I don't want to do this again. I meant to ult, but for some reason uh, it didn't seem to go through. I think it was because I was getting hit, but maybe I just mispressed it. So yeah, that ended up effectively wasting the heal. That was lucky there. Uh, well, not lucky, but close. I used the Concentration Potion because I don't think I'm going to need it again. I'm almost done with the cannon, and the next part I'll just need to get the ball in. And then light it, I won't need to turn it again. I'm... I think it came from the top. I should just be going straight to the cannon, there's no reason to be dallying here, but whatever. Okay, now I'm just aiming cannon. I think I'm going to heal again. I 
Yeah, I lost confidence at this part because of what happened before and my health at this part. So yeah, I go over here. This is a pretty good choice. It means my card loop isn't too long. I heal now. There's a speed pot over there I should have got. I grabbed, but doesn't matter. Now I'm going to do the cannon. I think I may end up doing one more loop than this. Not exactly sure. I got this in the uh, Zealot run. Done in the same session. So that's cool. That's a Zealot feel nothing run. Which is much more interesting than this run. Even though it was... Uh, I mean, it felt easier. Than this one. So like, despite the DPS, you're still playing Witch and a Captain and... If, yeah, you know. And such. We need more them up. I don't know, I was probably playing better in that round though. Maybe. I'm not sure. Now I'm just going to go for the Cannonball. I'm going to DPS a bit. Well, I say a bit, but I use Fervency. Excuse me. So, quite a bit. I'm not sure where the assassin is, and I actually didn't realize that the... I, I, for some reason, I knew when I first came down, I knew that it was the cannonball that needed to be loaded. But then I ended up... Oh, and that... You know, you've got so much reach, you can just do that. Pretty reliable. For some reason, I thought the cannonball... That I was wrong, and I made a mistake, and so I went back to check, and it turned out I was right the first time. Oh well. It doesn't really matter, and it costs me a bit of time. I just throw it down. I'm just going to go straight. Not going to do any fancy kite loops here. Just turning around to make sure they're not catching up on me too quickly. Okay, now I'm going to clear a bit because I'm not confident that I'll be able to just get it up there without getting without them just killing me. Also, I'm kind of worried something will just spawn in front of me. Like that. I really, I really should have just probably used the build hook there. I walked really far back, wasting time. I get the speed pot this now because uh, I'm not gonna. Oh, I'm coming down here because there's monks and such. I don't want to be up there. I'm gonna clear first and then just get the cannonball straight up. This is a pretty good situation because there's nothing I can't immediately cleave just yet. I think that's one storm burning. I'm gonna fervency and it's all gonna die. Few shields, but again, the bill hook will cleave infantry shields pretty decently. It's surprising how it's actually really not reliant on the push attack combo that much at all. You just want to do push attack, then three lights, and then push attack again. And charm life is definitely better than castaway, I think, with Bill Hook. Because Cast castaway doesn't actually, and I just use the speed pod and leave here. Castaway doesn't really increase the number of times you can push that much with this. Whereas it, w it probably would if you we had plus stamina. And it definitely doesn't rape you, just because of how many pushes that has. And that is the run. Just the scoreboard after this. Uh, don't really have anything to add, so I'll just end it in a moment.